think I'll go to Uganda. I'll go for Rwanda. Uganda and Rwanda, they are two uh, countries which are neighbors. Uh, in today's video, I am in the street of Nairobi. I'm asking Kenyans which country between Uganda and Rwanda will they prefer to live and work. This video is not political, it's just opinion video to see the views of people, to see how Kenyans view each and every country. Of course, I am the Kenyan beast, come with me, let's roll the African way. Between Uganda and Rwanda, where would you prefer to live and work, between Uganda and Rwanda? I think Rwanda. Why Rwanda? Because it's more developed than Uganda. Wow. Yeah. Anything else you have chosen, Rwanda? I think that's the main reason because mm. it has uh, developed better than the other place. Wow. You have been told to choose between Uganda and Rwanda to go live and work. Which country will you choose? Uganda and Rwanda. Rwanda. I think I'll go to Uganda. Why will you choose Uganda? Uh, I, I love Uganda. Mm. I love the people from Uganda. Mm. Yeah, and. I guess there's a way they just connect with us because mm. even most of my music is played in Uganda. Played in Uganda? Yes. Oh, you're a musician? My kids are musicians. Wow. Yes. Wow. Menisha Sisters. Yes. Don't forget to follow to subscribe Menisha Sisters. If you are from Burundi, from Uganda, from Ethiopia, I know I have fans from Rwanda, from Uganda, from Ethiopia, from Somalia, from Africa. Don't forget to subscribe to Menisha Sisters. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, uh, apart from choosing Uganda, uh, saying they connect with people good, uh, do you know anything interesting from Uganda, apart from their people? Do you know anything interesting? Uh, their politics is kind of like interesting, because every time they are, they are always having a problem. Mm. Yeah, that is something when you want to like think about Uganda, mm. you think about their politics. That is what they have given out there to the world more. Their politics. Yeah. Any Ugandan food you know? Matoke. <laughs> Matoke. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, they say, I don't know, Mwebale. I don't know if Mwebale is thank you. Mwebale. Yeah, Mwebale. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Mwebale nyo. Yeah, Mwebale nyo. <laughs> Between Uganda and Rwanda, these are neighboring countries, all are from East Africa. Where will you choose as a Kenyan to live and work? Mm, Between Rwanda and Uganda. Uganda. Uh, I'm not a good fan of the two countries mm. Mm, because of the leadership mm. in them. Mm. But if if it's a must, I'll, I'll go for Rwanda. Rwanda? Yes. Uh, I have my own reasons. Tell me any reason. Uh, Rwanda is peaceful, by the way. Mm. Um, a very clean country, uh, economically stable, and it's a fast-growing country in Africa. Mm. Yes, from stats, statistics. Mm. It has been growing so fast. So meaning if you have either I have a business or a business idea or cap some capital to start with, I'll have a good ground, a good market to go. Yes. And there are a lot of investors moving to Rwanda, meaning Rwanda will be economically stable maybe in some ten or whatever years. It will be a second world or who knows. So I find it good to work in Rwanda as compared to Uganda. Wow. He has stated this reason. Thank you. Between Uganda and Rwanda, where would you prefer to live and work? In Uganda. Uh, choose between Uganda and Rwanda. I choose Uganda. Why Uganda? Because Uganda, um, it has got, it has got uh, some varieties that are well, mm. and at least it's a developed country. Rather, rather than, than Rwanda. Yeah. Mm. Have you ever met anyone from Uganda? Not yet. Have you ever tested any Ugandan food? Yeah, I have ever. Which one? Banana. The matoke? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Between Uganda and Rwanda, where would you prefer to live and work? I would prefer Uganda mm, because uh, of, my, of my reasons. Because, you know, Uganda is our neighbor here. Mm. And I'm coming from Kenya. Mm. So going to Uganda is not that difficult. Maybe if I want to visit, visit my family, mm. I won't spend too much. Mm. So I prefer Uganda. Also, I like the, the leadership of Museveni. That man is, is a Pan-Africanist. Okay? He speaks truth to his uh, to the core. He always speaks it the way it is. Okay? You know, we want African leaders who fears nobody. They speak the truth without fearing the West's power, without fearing anybody uh, coming after them. 
and that's what Museveni is, you know. If, if Museveni could have not turned the way he is right now, Uganda could have been um, uh, an L LGBTQ zone, okay? But thank God, his government and his, and his stand, mm. uh, our African culture is still being respected and being recognized in the globe. Mm. Anything else you know from Uganda that will make you, apart from that one, maybe their food, their culture, okay. ladies? Uh, ladies of Uganda are so respectful, mm. and I like, I like it, by the way. And, uh, okay, I don't want to say that I'll marry one because I've married. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm married. You have already said it. Uh, yes. yeah, okay. so, uh, but they're so beautiful. The Ugandan ladies are so, are so de are, uh, be beautiful. They are so, they respect men, they are men. And uh, a man will always remain to be a man. Okay, in the sight of a Ugandan as compared to other African ladies who don't value the power of a man. Okay, so I like it the way because their culture also teaches, teaches them to respect men. So I like their culture also. In Ugandan food, you know? Uh, matoke, Matoke. Uh, matoke is, is an obvious food from Uganda. So, yeah. so that's the first thing that must, run, must ring to my mind. Okay. I like Matoke. Mm. 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 Where would you prefer to live or work between Uganda and Rwanda? It's a tough question. Very tough. It's a tough question. All are East Africans? Yeah, all. We are one love. We are, yeah, 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 we are one love. So, um, I'm connecting so, so deeply with Uganda. Mm. In as much as I love Rwanda, mm. Rwanda is the, as the cleanest city, mm. you know, in East Africa. Mm. I love Rwanda so much, mm. but there is this thing called, there's a proverb we say, mm. blood is thicker than water. Yeah. So, I have my ancestry in Uganda, mm. you know. My grandmother mm. was a Ugandan, mm. you know, and um, I've, also, I've also been raised by a nanny mm. from Uganda. So you see this connection that I have with Ugandans mm. makes me wanna someday go to Uganda, interact with them, live with them, you know. Yeah, I love, I lo I'll definitely I'll choose Uganda because also they are women, they are women that are so submissive. You have, uh, you have a food that will sustain you. Mm. Uh, okay, let me, let me use this example. Mm. You have a sweet food, mm. and we have a food that will last for a long time. Mm. This, this sweet food, you are going to eat it for now, mm. but you'll not see it again because it will end. Mm. But you have this food which will last for a long time. So Rwanda, it's a sweet food. Mm. They have beautiful women, you know, bro. They, definitely, they have beautiful women. Mm. But Ugandans, yes, they also have beautiful women, but they are submissive. That's what makes them special. Mm. So if you ask me another thing that I love about Rwanda, I'll definitely choose Uganda over Rwanda, okay. basing on that reasons and other reasons that I've given you. Uh, between Uganda and okay. Rwanda, where would you prefer to live and work? Between Uganda and Rwanda? Yeah. Uh, maybe Rwanda. Why? I've, had Rwanda. I've had like beautiful things about Rwanda and infrastructure. Yeah. yeah, and I really like the way they are president, is it? Kagame. Yeah, Kagame. Yeah. He really promotes that country. Yeah, and that's that's one thing I like about Rwanda, and I'd love to work there. I yeah, I I thought uh, I thought you you will say they are ladies, they are shorts are beautiful. I hear they are very very beautiful ladies. You hear you are, have you this is a, a foreign girl? Uh, no. Okay. Mm. Have you ever met their ladies? Because there's a video yeah, I did. No, I've, no, I've, I've not like met mm. Rwandan ladies. Mm. Yeah. So. Apart from the what you have said, huh? okay. what do you think about their capital city? They say it's the cleanest uh, city in Africa. I've not believe been, that. I've not been there, mm. but as a my perspective of not being there, it's mm. a, it's a beautiful city. I've seen their vlogs. Mm. Yeah, you should like promote more vlogs and people showing showcasing your country. Yeah, that's sure. what, one thing about I like about their capital city. Where will you choose? To, where will you prefer to live and work between Uganda and Rwanda? Uganda and Rwanda. Yeah. I bet Uganda. Uganda. Yeah. Is there any reason you, you, you will choose Uganda? Because like there is the river Nile in Uganda. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else about Uganda? Yeah. The, I, I I hear that the clothes there mm. are good. So it's a, it's a, I don't know, but I just, I'd prefer Uganda. You prefer Uganda? Yeah. yeah. <laughs>